everyone, and welcome back to the Skulk. We just gained a new uh, companion in our, uh, into our group. Well, yeah. Uh, her name, we gotta choose out of a, uh, a bunch of them. It's my last one. We chose Ray. Why am I saying this? Because you guys just came from that episode? Well, I don't know, just, it's just like a... Showing that I paid attention. <laughs> Having pitched up camp with your companions, for once, it seems you have some quiet time to spare. You follow exile. Uh, your, yeah, follow. You fe your fellow exiles are taking a moment to unwind. Dodario motions for you to join them. Oh, okay. Best get used to our new life here, reader. We solemn get such moments of, of, reprieve. Perhaps some further study of that book shall pass the time. You could join me for a little bit, uh, for a little stroll if you're feeling up to it. Always something to be forged around here. Or you could teach us more of what you know. Prepare us for the next bright. In any case, we do what we can to stay busy. Keeps the keeps sense of isolation well at bay. At certain junctures, you may choose from several vocations. Ways in which you can make yourself useful during the occasions. Oh, so this is our split. This is our split. So we can gather, we can read, or we can mentor a companion. Teach your fellow exiles of the old ways to raise their individual rank in the rights more to come. More, uh, more uh, right, yeah. Level them up. Or hone your skills as a reader to grant small global bonuses to your fellow exiles uh, during the rites. Forge resources. Search the surrounding area for valuables to add to your black wagon stash of goods. I am a collector at heart, but I feel like teaching them would be very, very useful. Because sharing uh, sharing knowledge into a place that was stripped of some no of of the past would be of great use. So me solo reading to learn more, and then give them to them later, or give them what I know now. I feel like this one. <laughs> Having gleaned knowledge from the Book of Rites, you can impart some of its teachings. As each exile's path towards enlightenment is personal, you will have to mentor them one at a time. I like you a whole lot. You're nice. But you're calling us stragglers. Kind of are, but still. And you, you lost some hope. I'm sorry. When you asked me, I told you honestly. I know she's already leveled. So it's probably best to um, help them. Let's mentor this guy. Let's mentor Rookie. Sure, chum. I could go for some enlightenment right now. About now. Might take the edge off. You illustrate to Rookie some of the in intri interesty, I'll say, of the rights. Focusing on how all three in a triumphant that triumvir triumvirate. Okay, can move and act as one of one mind. You sense he grasps some of the concepts. A thousand. See that, chumps? Old Rookie Greentail's gotta bite them yet. Choose a mastery for Rookie. Now, let's read some of these, shall we? Cloud jump. Rookie can jump a second time while airborne. By the way, I gotta actually look at the keys so I know what I'm doing. Oh, press X to jump during a right. Okay, X is jump. That's good. Interact to make Rookie gain this mastery. So he can jump twice. Which is good, but it also costs us energy, so we have to use that wisely. 
Lightning Run. When sprinting, Ruki accelerates faster than usual to even faster top speed. So he can get to the place faster. Uh, uh, press RT. Right trigger. There's right button and right trigger. Alright. So that. Ruki cannot run a game this mastery yet. Of course, I know. Lucky break. After he is uh, banished by an, an adversary, Ruki has a 50% chance to return in only one second. So he can just go try to take, uh, knock me uh, all you like, and uh, and I shall reappear to make life worse for you each time. Jamur and, uh, Jamur and his rivals. Moonsault. Ruki can jump a second or third time while airborne. Press X to jump in right. Okay, Ruki cannot gain it. And when others uh, curs proved they could jump as far as Jamur and Jamur, he outdid them once again. So I can do jumpings and then that. Uh, glory, uh, glory drop, <laughs> glory dive. Ruki deals an additional five uh, damage when plunk. Uh, Plunging into the adversary's pyre. That's actually pretty good. Interact to make Ruki gain his mastery. So he does more damage, and he's fast. Ruki uh, casts his aura 50% further than usual, so he can just snipe. This is his aggressive end. He cannot gain his mastery yet. Nah, I go. Uh, when Ruki banishes adversaries by casting his aura, the blast can be banished during adversary. Uh, the blast can banish nearby adversaries. Hold B to aura cast during right. Okay. Cool. So I can uh, be a sniper. So sniper. Oh, range or blast. Okay. After uh, plunging into the adversary's pyre, Ruki soon returns rather than remaining banished. Ah, so Ruki. If Ruki delivers it. He comes back anyway, so we almost we pretty much have him on our team always. One, two, three. So we could still get uh, all of these because we have a total of that many levels. So I feel like we're gonna go with this side. Phew! I gotta hand it to you, Jim. That book's not quite as boring as I thought. I better go lie down. All right. All right, I'll get that. Continue with the journey. Uh, okay, yep. So we got that. Pack her up. The path leading furthest west splits off. And once again, your fellow exiles turn the choice of where to go over to you. Ray seems enthusiastic for whichever route you choose. Hmm. Fall flat or glue hive? Glue hive sounds like beehive filled with glue instead of honey. And then fall flat found, sounds like we're gonna climb up some tops and then fall flat to our face. Or belly flop. Into the sand. Not very pleasant. Huh. The south route crosses the Jamur Valley, uh, is riddled with the barren rock and bone. Ray believes those who travel this path shall be as swift as Jamur of the eight scribes. Gluhide. The north route crosses across the Jamur Valley passes uh, the remains of the Hive Titan. Ray believes those who travel this path shall be as strong as Gull of the scribes. So swiftness or as strong. And strength in this game is either the aura or the pyre hitting technique. So strength or speed. I think speed, because if we can get around, maneuverability is great. Let's go down. Did you hit into the rock? Ray is behaving stranger than usual as you traverse the rocky pass of Fall Flat. This is the path that Jamor Many Main ran across. So many, many times. Can you not feel his presence? Him and all his friends. Here, in the sand. And in the air. And all about. At first you pay a little, he uh, pay a little heed. 
the later you observe, your fellow exiles seem to have more of a light in their step. A lightness in the step. Perhaps it was the previous day's rest that did everyone good. Your companions gained plus one quickness in the next right. Only for the next right? Is that your next speed? Okay. Oh dear me, this is a giant coconut scorpion. En route to the spring of Jomur, you hear all about the roving slug market, which appears to be nearby. Ruki insists you take a look after you settle in. Ah, page reveals the last emperor. Let's take a look at that page. Hmm. Oh, hello, man. Let's take a talk with you. We have time. Headwind motions for you to join him. While his manner is an e as, as easygoing as ever, you sense he is searching for the right words for what he's about to say. You'd ask what I did to get thrown in here. Figured I'd tell you. The others know. I was on the blood border uh, for several years. An outsider. No real rank. But a pretty important job. Whenever the harps swooped in, was up to me to raise the alarm. A winged race, also known as the High Wing rem Remnants, at war when, with the Commonwealth. The northern edge of the Commonwealth is a flat and vulnerable expense. One day the harps came without warning. No alarm. It was a So I heard. Because I wasn't there. I was... Mesintera. I was with one of them. She... Look. That's a story for another time. The point is... They branded me Hedwin the Deserter before they sent me here. I didn't want to fight. I abandoned my posts. My friends. They paid dearly for it. I ended up down here. Edwin looks at you as his smile reappears. It's not something I like to talk about, as you can tell. But I know that you'd been wandering, and you deserve to know. I made a promise to you earlier when we first met, that you'd go free as well if any of us go free. That promise may not carry that much weight, I guess coming from a deserter. Anyway, that's all. Thank you for hearing me out. There's not much good here in the downside, but at least the past is behind us. He leaves you there to consider his words. He didn't want to fight, but because he didn't fight, lots of people, including people he knew and loved, were, were attacked and hurt. Perhaps even killed. I said that. Oh, wait. Was there other pages? Did I miss some things? Was there a page that I missed? Nope. The Last Emperor, the words of Gol, Gola, Thanian, the Master General. How many uh, nations did I scour in the name of... Let's just press the inspect button. <laughs> How many nations did I scour in the name of Solemn War? How many countries fell before our spears had blade, uh, and blades? Before our spears and blades. He, now, such questions mattered less to me with every passing victory. Our legends swelled across the land, and our dominion grew. The Emperor Solom Mur paid all this little heed. He only tended to his personal affairs. Our legions relished the autonomy. 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 We did not know what the emperor cared and uh, we did not know the emperor cared nothing for his legions nor his people. He cared only that which was before him. One day, 
he learned such a thing as to befit his name and vowed to seek it out. So someone that led a group but didn't care for the group. Just wanted them to do his bidding or something. Well, hopefully I get these things down. So X is jump, B is shoot. A is probably pass. These are probably pass buttons. This is moving, most likely. Slug market. Hello, slug. Where you can trade your forged goods for things of greater value. So he could have gotten money if he forged. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? Mr. Greentail. Been a while and all that. Hit him. Hey Ron, it's going. Say, how come you just set up shop all the way out here? Isn't it a little out of the way? My voice oh, well, let's just say, you guys, you ain't my only customers. You see, Dad and I, we know the business pretty good. We've been around the block, and so... As Ron keeps blathering, Rookie signals you uh, in the fruit of way. Here's the deal, chum. Got an, inform uh, got an informant says there's something here connected to this rights business. See if you can spot it. Should be able to pawn some of our stuff to make a trade. And don't even worry about Falcon Ron. That guy. He is the traveling sales creature and proprietor of the downside slug market. So anyways, you guys got something for me or what? That black bloom you got there. I could take it off your paws if you want. Ron's purchase and this is ours. Value three. You shall have 40 in total. Okay. I mean, it's part of our trade. Hey, you know, I'll take it, Mr. Greentail. Though you drive a pretty hard bargain. Now, you gotta take something off my hands here, or what? Drag moon. Press to your stash. Hmm. Fix. After being banished by an adversary, the bearer has a chance to return immediately. Oh, it does sound pretty nice and snappy. That's a one-of-a-kind thinger you just got there, you know? And you got yourself a deal. That's a good deal for me as well, so thanks. 250? 45? At the start of a right, the bear's pyre automatically gains. Ah, so we heal. Or we just gain a seven. When plunging the adversary's pyre, the bearer deals bonus damage. At the start of a right. Does it mean it only happens once? Hmm, okay. Apparently, any one of us bozos can get a little edge out there with that thing. During the rights. I mean, just a question, who gets to try it out? Each of your fellow exiles may have a talisman equipped to it. sounds very irritating. So this guy doesn't have anything. And he is the middleman. So why not give it to him? Alright, so if he gets knocked out by an adversary, he's a chance of immediately bringing him back. What's this token thing? Edwin's bio. Can I be accidents not? Okay. Anyways, dad over there. I'll be here. His feet, you know. We've been having some trouble with his feet. Getting real something or other from all that hoofing around, and so you see. Rookie indicates that you indicates to you that now should be a good time to depart. See ya, see ya Mr. Greentail, and your friends there too. I like them. Seems real nice, you know. 
Maybe. Did we do much? I don't know if we did much. But the right takes a while. The right actually takes a whole episode. So in that case, we're going to leave it off here. And I'll bring one more episode just so we can uh, do the right. Alright. So thank you guys for stopping by and joining me on this... On the... What we're doing here. We will do the right... Uh, com the, we, we shall commence the right in the next episode. Join us then if you want to see how it works. So, until then, have a great day everyone.